slayers welcome back to the mother freaking chanel i wanted to get this little video out for you guys today so i wanted to hop on really quick and just do a little intro say hello i want to give a shout out to beetles really quick thank you so much beetles for sponsoring today's video i'm going to be using some beetles products and doing some gel x nails if you want to learn how to do some gel x nails and see these new beetles products then just keep watching Mwah. bye all right, so here is a little mini UV LED lamp that Beetle sent over. It's like the lamp that you would use for Lazy Girl Method nails, A-Press, Gel X, whatever works for you, but it works for all those different methods. Here's what it looks like. It comes with the regular USB charger. It doesn't have an outlet though for the wall, so you'll need one of those for yourself. It's really lightweight, really compact and cute. Uh, it only is three watts though, so this lamp is only going to be good for a quick flash cure, not so much much a full cure we also got over these gel art polish liners there's 12 colors that comes in this and this is the unicorn color set so they have more of like a primary color set and then here is the unicorn one I just thought it was so cute and yeah so they are smaller you can get all of the colors that you see here or you can get like six colors and the bottles are bigger so whatever you want but i will have these linked down below on amazon now let's do some nail prep really quick for our gel x nails so as you saw my nails were a little bit crusty i had some press on nails and i glued them on and i could not get them off for the life of me so this is what happens um when you can't get press on nails off we're going to be filing them all off um i'm on just the one RPM really gentle low setting and after I have all the nails off and I'm going to take my cuticle pusher and just gently remove my cuticles. I did wash my hands really good before I did this so my cuticle skin was like a little bit more soft which was really nice um, and after you have that done we're going to go in with some dehydrator. This one is just a Mia Secret dehydrator. Let that fully dry and then you want to go in with a primer same this is a Mia secret primer and after I let that completely dry we're then gonna go in with this Beatles nail strengthener I love this stuff so much I'm using it in um, I'm using it instead of using base coat I, I'm not sure if it's the same formula as base coat because after you cure it it does have a sticky layer like base coat does but I did a layer of that and then let's use some solid gel nail glue to put on our gel X nails so here's the solid gel nail glue I've got that off Amazon it was three dollars I love it it's really good quality and then of course my full cover one two three go Enoch Couture square nails uh, my code is slave by J. If you want to shop Ina Couture, you can save some money. And these just look so cute. I do like to take a file and just file the edges of all the cuticles of all the nails so they don't look like press on nails. I want them to really fit snugly um, onto my natural nail. And if you do that, you won't have lifting as well. So make sure none of it's touching your skin and that it fits nice. So let's grab that solid gel nail glue. We're going to grab the full cover tip. And I just did a little scoop, as you could see, inside of it. It. and then I'm starting at the cuticle and then pressing down towards the free edge of my nail this stuff is so amazing I'm literally obsessed with it like after using it I will never use anything else I don't feel like because this product is just so good I love it because it's a really thick viscosity so wherever you put the nail it's going to stay there it's not going to slide and move around like top coat or base coat would do um, and also if any like if any of the product squeezes out around your cuticle you just roll it away like it's so crazy it's not sticky you literally just roll it away I, I know some people have really sensitive skin so if that's you be careful not to have this touch your skin um, I saw a couple of people not this exact brand but I saw a couple of people get a little bit of allergic reaction to products like this so just be careful try it on one nail first make sure that it, it doesn't hurt or anything like that and then keep on going um, the footage is gonna get a little bit sloppy here in a second. I'm so sorry, I don't know what my deal was, <laughs> like why I wasn't in frame, but here's all the products we're gonna be using and I'm gonna be doing this really cool little look I was inspired by. Um, I think the artist's name was BJ Nailed It. I will link her down below, but we're gonna be using these um, gel liner polishes as like a blooming gel. So I'm taking base coat and I'm literally globbing base coat down on all of my nails and I'm not gonna cure it. 
So while the base coat is still wet, I am taking the little gel liner art brushes. And I feel like these are perfect for this because you can pick up as much pick, as much product as you want on the brush. But I am picking up the product and I'm just doing little dots all around my nails. And whatever color wave or whatever kind of um, look you want, you totally do it. So the thing about this is that once you do the dots, it does take like 20 seconds for the product to maneuver and kind of bloom bloom around the nail. So make sure you like only wait 20 seconds, not that much longer, because if you wait longer like a minute, the colors are gonna start to, to completely flood and they'll kind of go together and they won't be like this kind of flooded crocodile look. So um, make sure you don't let your nail sit like for a minute, you know, let it sit for 20 seconds and then get that in the lamp so that it cures where it's at. Otherwise, like I said, it will just keep blooming all day long and then it will just be one color. <laughs> Um, but I saw this girl on Instagram do this and I just thought it was so cute and I was like that looks like a really good idea with the gel liner brushes. She used just regular gel polish um, but I thought this looks so cute. It's almost like a crocodile print but not. It's like a croc print but not in the croc print like way if that makes sense. Like it's not in the right direction that croc print is. It's just random but nonetheless, it turned out so cute. So I'm just doing random colors on all of the nails. And then once I have them bloomed out how I like it, I just go and cure it and do a really good 60 second cure in the big lamp. Um, I did do a flash cure on these and they did wrinkle, which was so sad because I couldn't take it off. And so um, I found out that if your polish wrinkles, you can just put a base coat on top of it again and cure it and it goes away but don't flash cure these make sure you do a really good long cure otherwise like I said they will wrinkle so after I have all the colors on and they're all cured I did my thumb off camera and look how cute it came out I love it so everything's cured and now I'm just gonna go on with top coat on all the nails, making sure that it's fully top coated. And I'm not going to cure this um, while the top coat is still wet. I'm going to use that as our nail, as our uh, rhinestone adhere today um, because these rhinestones are small and I'm just kind of spattering them all over the place. I'm not worried about using rhinestone glue. So top coat will work for you for rhinestone glue sometimes, um, as long as you're not doing anything big or chunky, just some small details. Details. So like I said, I'm sorry that my footage was a little bit wonky right here <laughs> But I just took colored rhinestones and I just randomly placed them on top of whatever color felt cute to me um, After that I cured that in the big lamp for 60 seconds and I'm just going in with some cuticle oil and I'm finished This was literally the easiest gel X set I've ever done and I love it like you can use so many different colors, different, right? Like I just feel like the possibilities are endless and the look is just so cute. I am obsessed. I'm doing my other hand right now because I just want to wear these as a full set. Um, like I said, the girl that inspired me, I'll have them linked below. Thank you so much, Beatles, for sponsoring this video and all the products I use will be linked down below as well. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.